Hey everybody, today we're gonna to talk about an issue on a furnace that has a couple common causes. Code that you're gonna get is gonna indicate that you're having a vent or an intake problem. So what you do first is obviously you check your vent sure. and then you would go and you would check your filters and your intakes to make sure that nothing's in there. Uh, once that's done, that's fairly simple. Now we're gonna talk about the technical details on how to determine what's really going on in the unit. Really the first thing to check in any unit that's 90% uh, efficiency or above is the pressure switches. Typically there's one, but there can also be a two stage where you see two pressure switches. Either way, they're almost exactly the same to test. If the manometer readings are correct with the design, then typically one of the pressure switches is the problem. If the manometer readings aren't right, like they are in this case, then the pressure switch actually isn't the problem and we need to move on to something else. If the pressure switches are the problem, then we'll have to test the pressure switches. The best way to do this is to jump them out. I'll show you how to do this. You connect one end of your jumper wire to the cable that's still plugged in and you remove the other terminal cable and wait until the blower motor kicks in. Once the blower motor kicks in, then you jump it out completely and it should move on to the next phase. If there's two pressure switches, you would do this for the first switch on top and to get it to the second stage. And then once the second stage starts, you would do the same thing for the second pressure switch. Moving on now to further testing. What we do now is remove our pressure switches and take off our full blower assembly. Once the blower assembly is removed, we check out and see if anything is wrong with the blower. In this case, we find that there was damage to the internals of the unit. All the blades were broken, plastic from the debris in there clogging it up as well. And this is what was causing the problem in the bad readings on our manometer. Changing these out isn't very difficult. It's a matter of five to six screws being removed and put the same thing back in the same place. Finally, you reinstall your two pressure switches. You hook up the hoses that go to those pressure switches. You hook up your power lines as well as your ground and you're done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more tips and tricks. We do full version videos, shorts and comedy videos all HVAC all the time. Thanks for watching.